you guys and welcome back to another episode by us truly isn't she getting so big oh my goodness they grow up so fast i love you <laughs> so as you can tell by the title of this video i'm gonna be telling you guys kind of like storyline of the worst year of my life and you're probably thinking that it's from this year but honestly this year has been really good this storyline takes place in the year of 2018 so it all started in february when things just kind of went downhill i had this cat childhood cat named zor and um he was like my best friend you know i'm really close with animals like they're my best friends i treat them like they're like family you know like my little brothers little sisters like i love them so much with all my heart they're like the best things on earth like i just love them so much and so anyways i had this cat zor he was a little on the chunky side but that's okay he was like a 20 pound cat and he was like, yeah, my best friend. He would always like love me when I was sad. He would come lay on me, lick me, do those little head butts, try and get me to pet him when I was down. He knew when I was sad. And then suddenly, rapidly, his health just went downhill. Since he was so big and chunky, we noticed he was getting skinnier and skinnier each day in February and we took him to the vet and he was diagnosed with pancreatitis and there's not really a cure for that I mean we tried to give him medication for it but it just didn't work and he passed away at the end of February in 2018 and I lost my best friend it was really hard because he was like the first childhood animal that I lost and I just really miss him a lot <laughs> why am I like this okay so there's that and then, so, next part in 2018, a couple months later, my parents were like, we're moving. I was like, great. And I thought I'd just be moving houses in like the same area, but no, no, no. I had to move from Vancouver, where I live prior, 11 hours away to where I live now across the province. Really hard for me. I never thought I would be that girl that would move far away from where she ever knew, you know? It's really hard for me. Because I had to quit my job where I worked with all my friends, had to leave behind everything I knew to an area that I had no idea that existed before I, like, they told me that we're moving here. I'm just like, cool, nice, fun, exciting. I mean, like, it's only, like, an hour and a half flight back to my hometown but I don't know it's just not the same but things have changed and I like it here now I don't want to go back to that town because it's all about bad memories there like that's where I was for six months dealing with my aplastic anemia this year and it just this area this town is a new fresh start so cool but when I first moved it was really hard on me I was bawling my eyes out to the point where my eyes were so puffy that I couldn't even see so kind of dramatic but that's just who I am I'm not being over dramatic to get attention I was just really upset at the time a little 18 year old me <laughs> so then there's that and throughout the year, I got a lot of parking tickets, and that made me really chapped, really upsetty. It was killing my vibe, killing my spirit. I was like, I quit my job. I don't have money to pay for these. So those were draining my bank account, and I just didn't learn. Didn't get the memo to pay for your parking. It just, you know, slipped my mind. Or I'd forget to put more money into the parking meters, and then get me that one, you know? or I parked in front of a fire hydrant and I got really chapped because that was really expensive to get that was like $200 I was like ooh okay okay so there's that and then in the summertime I was sick a lot probably because my aplastic anemia was like starting to 
take over my body, you know? <laughs> Funny. And then September. September was probably a devastating month for me. Like the worst month of my life. Like the full time was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Terrible. So anyways, I had a childhood Pomeranian that I got when I was like, I don't know, seven. When I was in grade three. He was my best friend, once again. He knew when I was sad, he would give me cuddles, he was my best friend. Just, you know, I just love animals. And then Pomeranians tend to get like heart problems or like throat problems. They're like tracheas collapse because they're so small and such. And he had that problem. He had an enlarged heart and he would always get that cough that if you know what I'm talking about, that small dogs get, I don't know. And he had that and I was really concerned because that's just who I am. I'm always concerned about people's health and stuff. And um, it was getting progressively worse and worse in September. Like he had it for about a year but September is when it all changed. He got worse and worse. Like he was coughing nonstop throughout the days. And then on September 23rd, well, September 22nd, we were playing with his ball. He was having fun, chasing his ball back and forth, giving us love, giving us lots of love and such, cuddles, playing, you know, etc., etc. And then on September 23rd, he passed away. And that was devastating for me and my parents. And I still cry to this day about my doggy because I miss him a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I he passed away and I was heartbroken. And no, and like my dad had to work the next day, so I had to be the one to take him to the vet to get him cleaning and it was really sad for me and I really can't get over it. I miss him a lot. <laughs> I kind of hate how I get so emotionally attached to things and then when they pass away it's really hard you know but that's okay. He was suffering, he was in pain and he's in a better place now same along with my cat you know. Losing two childhood pets in a year was really hard. Okay, so that was September 23rd. And then fast forward two weeks later, October 6th, my grandpa passed away. <laughs> Just to make things even better. And then I was already planning to fly down to my hometown from here for my birthday, which was on October 15th to celebrate my 19th birthday. And here in Canada, turning 19 is pretty fun because you can legally drink alcohol. And I was like to my friends, like at least 15 of them. I was like, hey guys, I'm flying across the province to celebrate my 19th birthday with you guys. Can you guys come? Because if not, I won't bother flying down there for no reason to celebrate my birthday by myself because you know, I just stay home. But I had to fly out there for my grandpa too anyways and such to support my grandma and stuff. And anyways, so I invited like at least 15 people. They were all like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come. Oh yeah, I have work, but I'll come after like, et cetera, et cetera. And then guess what? Only four people showed up. There were, like at least 15 people that I invited. I was like, Okay, I'm kind of hurt. My grandpa just passed away. My dog just passed away. I moved away and no one bothered to even come celebrate my birthday with me. But you know, that's okay. You really do find out who your true friends are, you know? But that's okay. Enough with that. I had a terrible birthday, but it wasn't the worst because I celebrated it with some of my good, good friends. You guys know who you are. You guys are the OGs, you guys make me happy and then what else is there oh yeah so after that I was down in my hometown for like a month and then I flew back and then my health just deteriorated and in January I got 
sent to the hospital February, beginning of February, diagnosed with aplastic anemia, had a transplant in April, had chemotherapy, eight rounds of it, I lost my hair, I went through a lot. And grade 12, the 2017 also was not a good year, but I don't feel like I should go into details with that year. It's a little too personal. And to make things worse, I got played a lot by a lot of guys. They played with my emotions and they led me on and would ghost me after a month. So that was fun and exciting. Got my heart broken a lot, but you know, I'm in a really happy place now. I mean, yeah, this year is really good, despite almost dying with aplastic anemia. Like, if I didn't get medical treatment when I did, like, I should have done that sooner. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. For a reason. Like, if I didn't, if I went to the hospital in, like, November or something when I kind of wanted to, I wouldn't have met my boyfriend, and, you know? Yeah, so, like... I mean, like, <laughs> everything kind of happens for a reason, I guess. But, I mean, I kind of didn't want my aplastic anemia to happen to me. I kind of, you know, kind of put a hold on my life. I mean, I'm a fighter and I beat it because that's just who I am. I'm not, I'm going to, like, give it my whole fight, you know? And, yeah, so... I'm pretty sure there's other stuff that went wrong in 2018. Like, I was really sad all the time. I was, like, sad, crying, like, basically every day. I was really depressed because losing my pets, my grandpa moving away, quitting my job where I worked with all my friends. And, you know, it just really hurt my emotions. And I'm also in Vancouver. I did a lot of modeling. I still am a model with the agency, but it's a lot harder now because I live so far away. But I'm sure I will figure something out. So anyways. I guess that concludes my video. Just remember you guys. You guys aren't alone a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff like i might think that's terrible what i have been through over the past year but i'm sure there's way worse there are people dealing with way worse things and you know just know you're not alone because i believe in you you are going to get through whatever you're going through i had the worst year of my life and now things are getting better after each event that I went through, people were like, it's gonna get better, Elena. And then something else would happen, and it, I would go, it just kept going down, down, down on a roller coaster, my mental health, how life was going. And then this year, after everything, it's finally going up. So if you're sad, just know that life is gonna get better, even though if it doesn't seem like it, it will. It will, I promise you. And I'm sure, like, my stuff, what I went through, doesn't seem that crazy or sad or I don't know to you. Because I don't know what you're going through, but I know if you are going through something, just know you're not alone. Because everything is dealing with something, even though if they can't really, if you can't really read it from them or you just don't know. There is something going on in behind the scenes, so... Just be nice to one another because you don't know what people are going through. Make sure all your friends are happy because your family, your friends are people that really matter in life. And just be happy because being sad isn't good for you. Like, they don't really know what caused my aplastic anemia and being, I think depression is what caused it, but who knows. I will never know, so yeah, so. I'll see you in another video. I love you.